Hi, welcome to Omics Academy. So today I'm going to start a new theory, uh, in which I will repeat the result in this paper. Uh, somatic mutations in early metasome genes disrupt regulatory links between unicellular and multiple cellular genes in cancer. So what I'm going to do is uh, I will first uh, introduce this paper to you. Uh, and then I will go through the uh, GitHub link, the source code, and then I will try to repeat all the results in this paper. So today I'm going to just uh, read the uh, abstract. So here's the abstract. Extensive transcriptional alteration are observed in cancer many of which activate core biological processes established in unicellular organisms and suppress differentiation pathways formed in metasome. Through rigorous inter integrative analysis of genomic data from a range of solid tumor, we show many transcriptional changes in tumors are tied to mutations disrupting regulatory interactions between unicellular and multicellular genes within human gene regulatory network. So here, GRN is short for gene regulatory network. Recurrent point mutations were enriched in regulatory genes linking un unicellular and multicellular subnetworks. While copy number alterations affected downstream target genes in distinct unicellular and multicellular regions of the GRN. Our results depict drivers of uh, tumor genesis as uh, genes that created key regulatory links during the evolution of early multicellular life whose dysfunction creates widespread dysfunction of primitive elements of GRN. Several genes we identified as important in this process were associated with drug response, demonstrating the potential clinical value of our research. So in eLife, every paper had the eLife digest. So here the eLife uh, digest. Cancer arises when harmful changes happen in the genetic information of certain cells. These mutations are different from person to person, but overall they describe healthy cells in similar ways. In particular, cancer cells tend to lose features that help cells work together in the body. Researchers have suggested that cancers may emerge when cells stop being able to cooperate with each other as part of an organism. Our body still relies on old genes that were present in our earlier single-cell ancestors. However, we also have newer genes that evolved when the organism in our lineage started to have more than one cell. A complex network of signaling exists to ensure that both set of genes work together smoothly, and previously study have suggested that cancer may appear when this delicate balance is uh, disrupted. Trigos ETAL have now used a computational approach to analyze different types of tumors from over 9,000 patients. This showed that in cancer, many mutations disrupt, disrupted uh, the genes that coordinate old and new genes. These mutations were usually small, functional changes in genetic sequences. However, large modifications such as the entire gene being deleted or repeated took place more often in the old or the new genes themselves. Therefore, different classes of mutations have specific roles when disrupting how old and new genes work in cancer. When certain genes highlighted during this analysis were already known to be associated with cancer, others were not, including genes present in, during the evolution of the earliest animals on Earth. Looking more closely into how these genes can cause disease, 
may help us better understand and figure uh, out cancer and to fight cancer. So if you are interested in this topic, please, please subscribe to this channel. And after you click the subscribe button, and also remember to click the uh, bell shaped uh, button or bell shaped icon and that way you will receive a notification if we have a new video uploaded thank you